everyone. For dinner today, I am making my shrimp and chicken pie pie. So let's get started. Now for my ingredients, I have my seasonings. I have some carrots, some peas. This is my Trinity mix, onions, celery, and pepper. I have some uh, butter there, some flour. Of course, I have my shrimp. This is some pre-cooked chicken. I have chicken broth. I have my crescent dough sheet, my pre-cooked bacon, and now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'm going to saute my uh, Trinity mix in a little butter. Make sure you have your oven preheated to 350. And I'm just gonna saute them into their little sauce. I'm gonna also add in my carrots because I want them to be kind of soft. And what you wanna do is you just wanna add whatever ingredients that you like in your pot pie, okay? So I'm gonna saute these about three to five minutes. I wish you all could smell how amazing this smells. I added in a little bit more butter because we're gonna have to add in our flour. But first I'm gonna stir in those peas and those were frozen peas, okay? So you just wanna give it a stir like that. And then we're gonna stir in some flour. Now how much flour you add is totally gonna to be up to you because it depends on how thick you know you want your sauce to be that's in your pot pie, if that makes sense. So you just wanna stir it until it blends in with those vegetables, okay? We're gonna add in that flavor, honey which is, for me, it's a little chicken uh, chicken beef, I'm sorry, <laughs> chicken broth base, okay? Some Italian seasoning and some adobo, okay? So just an all-purpose. Next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of my chicken broth as well as a little bit of my cream, okay? And it's kinda like a half and half type thing. That's why I recommend half and half. So go ahead and stir that in. And we're gonna let that thicken up turn the stove off because we're about to pour them into our uh, little cups there and I'm going to take it off this out because it still kind of uh, cooks okay I just wanted to move it over off that eye because we don't want it so much to keep cooking so you see the thickness there next I'm going to pour in my chicken and you can choose to cook your own chicken. Don't feel like you have to do what I did. It's just easier. You buy the chicken already pre-cooked, honey. You ain't got to worry about it. I threw that bacon in the oven for a few minutes. Let it cook and get crispy. And then I'm going to add in my shrimp. I'm going to stir this. And for my pot pie today, I'm going to use cups, okay? Uh-oh, let's get that back in there. I'm going to use these little bacon cups okay but you can use a actual uh you know like a pie pan or you can use a bacon dish so you don't have to do the cups like i'm using so i'm going to stir this doesn't that look good Ugh, it smells amazing and we're going to sit it to the side go ahead and take your crescent um crust and unroll it and then i'm going to sit some in the bottom of each one okay and reserve some to put on top. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I just unrolled mine and just cut off a piece because it's literally just a sheet of dough. And you can put some at the bottom. It doesn't necessarily have to go on the sides, but just put some at the bottom on each one. And we don't need to grease our cups because uh, the crust does not call for that. And then you wanna take your filling and just add some into each cup. Okay, don't worry about a mess. We'll clean that up before we put it in the oven. Add your filling into your cups. Okay, I just want you all to see up close. Ugh, do y'all see how good that looks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna put a little piece of crust on top. And just so you can see how I'm doing it, you just wanna cover it like this, okay? Just put it on top like that. So I'm gonna cover the others. You all, that was so easy. I covered them and now they are going in. Now you just wanna bake them until the crust is done. So I'll let you all know how long I baked mine for. Again, I'm putting them in the oven on 350. All right, you all, they are done and it didn't take them long at all to cook. I cooked mine for 13 minutes, so let's taste one. All right, y'all, here it goes. Let's dig in. It looks so good. I rubbed the top of them with some butter. I don't know if I said that. 
Mm, nice and soft. <sighs> nice creamy middle, honey. Can y'all see in that? <sighs> Can y'all see in there? Mm, mm, mm. Let me have a bite. Looks so good. Mm, oh my God! Mm. Woo! Yeah, that is so good. <laughs> All right, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm going to tear this up. You have a wonderful, blessed day.